Hi YouTube. This is a sweep of nine to one and then ignore the fact that it's grey. It's a low frequency one. Alright, triple wound. Get a get a bit of light. And a four hundred and fifty six ohm two watt load. That's two, four, six, eight, ten. 10 there, that's equivalent roughly to a 100 watt load, quote. Um, I've already swept it with an MFG249 and it shows around 40 ohms out to around 20 megs. Uh, that's fine. Um, I'm going to change this toroid and with any luck we'll have a slightly better one in there but we need to uh, do something. Use my analyzer sweep. Zero mags over here. Let me get a pointer, man. We have zero here, 30 here. The best SWR, which is there, is 20.7. But it rises slightly up to around uh, zero to 18 megs. It doesn't do too bad. Um, Estabor Max is 2.15, um, zero over here. There is a little tiny inductance in there. Um, I've measured it on my whole peak meter, just a cheapy one. But it does give me a reasonable reading, and it measures roughly 10 millihenry. Now, that there is a 300 watt dummy load, 1 to 650 megs, and that shows 2 milli henry across it, so, um, I think that's a goer, we're going to give this a try with a broadband antenna, um, and see what we got, it was showing, right, what we have is 1k, 1k, uh, 2 rows of 1k making 50 ohm, a 1K and a 1.2K is 456 ohms. Um, I just home brewed it for my, for my own purposes, really. But there's 10 1K 2 watt resistors. Same again. This is a 50 ohm. That gives 100, 200, 300, 410. When I made it originally, it was running about 435, which is a bit too low. So um, I altered this row here to uh, 1.2K. Gives me 456 for the tolerance. So that is acceptable. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, we will continue.